I'm Raymond Douglas and welcome to my man cave. Well, rather toolshed or my special place of reflection. The Inside Out Perspective takes a look at life's challenges and its effects and asks one simple question. What race are you running? Good day and welcome to another episode of the Inside Out Perspective. I can tell you right now, this weekend is not going to be sunny skies and Chevrolets in the southern point of Africa as another cold front is approaching. So it's going to mean rain and fires in our houses this weekend. However, on the other side of it, there is sunny skies and Chevrolets and this relates directly to the reaction of our local Muslim community in response to the new evidence of Dan Brubaker and Jay Smith coming out to the front which we're promoting regarding the variants in the Quran. A little bit of history, um, myself, myself and Sheikh Hussain uh, Makwunda traveled quite a bit of a road. We've had six debates. Um, just prior to lockdown, we were going to have a question and answer session at the University of Cape Town, which was cancelled due to the restrictions of gatherings. But the interesting thing is yesterday, he, he sent me two links. And in light of the current situation of Black Lives Matter, he picked up this Facebook comment of I don't know who the people are but basically what it was the guy was claiming and this is a, a black person claiming that because Jesus Christ was white he is directly responsible for the persecution and death and destruction of blacks within the African community which I, I'm gotta give, gotta give the Dawa team of Islam in Southern Africa a huge thumbs up because of the ingenuity and, and method of trying to manipulate things to suit themselves. And you gotta always question these things because when you do and you have an understanding of why Islam makes these type of claims, Generally, it is to cover up something which is in their texts. And this is exactly the case. Because when you go to the Adifs, you'll find an Adif here where Muhammad sorts out the people, very similar to the biblical claim of, of um, at the end of times, the sheep and the goats are going to be separated. But this time, it is the whites and the blacks are separated, depending on which shoulder you get touched on. If you're on the right shoulder, you get put into the white group. If it's the left shoulder, it's the blacks. And no black is permitted into Yana. Look at this very carefully. According to Islam tradition from authentic hadiths, no black person gains entry into heaven. I don't think you heard that. According to Islam, no black person gains entry into heaven. So when you're having a look at it from the Black Lives Matter, do Black Lives Matter in Islam? But if you have a look at it from the African context, they're all black and they're all following this faith, which doesn't allow them, according to Muhammad, doesn't give them access to heaven. Doesn't matter what rituals they follow and how good they are as a, as a, as a Muslim. Very interesting, I thought. So the question still remains is, did Jesus come for the black people? And if you have a look at Hussein, um, uh, Sheikh Hussein's supposedly um, education, he's currently studying in Tanzania, doing comparative uh, religious studies. He would surely know that Jesus Christ came for the world. It clearly states that in the Gospels. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Whoever, listen to that, whoever, there's no exclusion here, believes in him, should not perish, but have eternal life. Whoever. How does that exclude black people? 
Yet, in Islam, it specifically states in their hadiths that black people are excluded from Allah's mercy and grace and will not gain entry into Yana. And I'll leave you with the last and final question. Which race are you running?